Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D back with another message for you. And guys, just like I promised, here is your message in regards to how you ask God for what it is that you need and the direction that you need to go. How to know if you're going in the right direction. And this is also, this is how you also apply this method to find out if the person you are dealing with is your true divine masculine or your divine feminine. Because as I'm always telling you guys, we are, some of us, we are wasting our time holding on to people from 30 years aback. Saying that they are our twin flames when they were just a soulmate passing through trying to teach us a lesson. So, I would like for you guys to listen up, pay attention, because the reason I do these messages is so that I can stop seeing my subscribers suffer. I can stop seeing people hurt. I can stop seeing people wanting to know which direction they need to go and they don't know and they feel lost. They feel like nothing is ever working out for them. They feel like they've been putting in all this work in their twin flame connection and nothing is changing with their person. They've been waiting 20 years, 30 years, and this person has never contacted them. And that's the reason, again, guys, why I told you, purchase the book. It's here. Most of what I'm telling you, it's in the book. It's in the book. It's right here. How to know if this person is your twin flame on page 82. Everything is here that you need to know. It's just that I cannot give you this information 222 two, two, every single day. Because every single day there is someone new coming onto the channel. And what's the purpose of repeating the same thing every day? So the book is here to help you guys. To show you what you need to do. It's here to help you to let go so you can move on. This twin flame journey is about learning to let go of your person so you can acknowledge yourself as a person, so you can love yourself, so you can realize that the only person that you need to hold on to, to yearn after, to chase after, is God. This journey is to allow you to take back control of your own lives. Most of us who are on this journey, we've been hurt, we've been battered, we've been torn. We, we feel like we don't belong, we feel like we're not worthy of love because of situations that we've been through, heartaches that we have felt. And when we meet our Divine Masculine, the same things came back around. The same wounds, they show up again. And you can know why by watching this video. Who is the Divine Masculine? I just aired it the other day, but I'll put the link up here. Who is the Divine Masculine? So you can know why certain things happen between you and them. Even if I, you guys, if I forget to put the link, just go through my my playlist and look for the video because sometimes everything doesn't work out the way I planned but this video guys is to help twin flames out there and every single body on this planet not only twin flame because God doesn't only respond to twin flames he responds to everyone we are responsible for healing Leading, teaching, guiding God's people, 727. So we have to know what we are dealing with before we can teach somebody else. Because before we can reach out to help somebody else. 
before we need to solve their problem, before we know how to solve their problem, we've got to learn how to solve ours. Now I'm going to tell you this, and I know I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong because God instructed me on how to do this. And everyone who has read my book knows that I'm not wrong. People who have heard it read can testify that it's not wrong. And if you ask this question and you do not get your answer, all it means is that you're not a twin flame. But it does not take away the fact that you are a servant of God. Because everyone who is awakened on this planet, you are a servant of God. We're just here for different purposes, different reasons, different duties. Like I said in the message before, not everyone is a teacher, not everyone is a doctor, and not everyone is a twin flame. But every one of us, we have our special place on this planet, serving God to help God, everyone who is awakened. So what I want you guys to do, I want you to ask God, God, and call this person's name out. If so and so is my twin flame, show me and you're going to ask for something specific don't just say show me a sign because that's stupid show me a sign look how many things can be a sign even when God shows you that sign you'll never see it because what sign are you looking for what sign are you are you hoping to see And I'm redoing this video because, like I said, every day there are new people coming on the channels. And you don't get to see some of the videos. So, let's go over this again. I'm going to do this as an example. You're going to look to Father God and you're going to say, Father God, if James is my divine masculine, show me a purple bird. And I always say to ask for something you don't normally see. Because when you see it, then you'll know that that's your answer. Sometimes you may get this answer. In written form, you may see the word purple bird. You may hear someone out there say purple bird. Or you may even see a purple bird in a cartoon or something on TV or whatever. But you will get your answer. If this person that you're running after, chasing after, don't want to let go off of, if they are your twin flame, you will receive your answer shortly. Sometimes there's, a, there's not even any wait. But again, remember, if you do not see this sign that you asked for, it just simply means this person is not your twin flame. But you are still a servant of God and you should turn to God again to find your true path that he's meant for you, that he meant for you to do. When you ask this question, I don't want you to go searching and looking for that purple bird. Or whatever it is you ask for. Do not go searching. Do not go looking. Ask the question and go about your business. Let it be. Don't even remember you asked the question. Because as soon as you. As soon as your sign appears. It's going to click in your mind. Oh, that's the sign you asked for. You don't have to guess. You don't have have to be hiffing or butting or maybes. Don't just say, God, show me a sign. And don't just say, don't ask for things that you see every day. Like, show me the number 222. Eh? All of us, we see numbers 222. 
And seeing numbers doesn't say that you are a twin flame. Again, it means you're enlightened. Ask for something specific and unusual. Like my example, Father God, if James is my divine masculine, show me a purple bird. And if James is my masculine, when I go about my business and God is ready to show me that purple bird, he's going to show it to me or I'll hear it. Divine Masculines, I need you to do the same thing as well. You ask God if this person, I'm going to, if Angela, I don't know where I get Angela, I just said Angela, if Angela is my Divine Feminine, show me a pink rabbit. I remember it's an example, but you can use it if you want. And it will show up. Because God is the leader of this journey. God is the leader of your life. He sent you here on earth to perform duties, to help him win his people back, to protect his people that are serving him, to care for them, to teach them, to heal them. But if we keep wasting our time on something that doesn't belong to us. We are wasting those people's time out there that needs our help and protection. So I need you to ask that question. You can do it now, you can do it later, whenever. If you're meant to see that sign, you will see it. And you will not go wrong. Because God will be, be giving you the answer that you're looking for. And I say again, do not go searching for this answer. Do not go searching. Because sometimes we go search and when we find it, it may be put there by other things to deceive you. That's why you got to have patience. That's why you got to wait until God delivers your answers to you. Just let it go. Go sit down and watch Netflix. Go buy some ice cream. Just let it be. And God will answer your question. Re rewind, rewind. So you can hear clearly what I tell you to ask. And after you ask that, then no one should you have any mistakes in who your divine masculine or divine feminine is and purchase the book guys wow ding ding purchase the book guys you heard my backup i don't lie to you because god is dictating to me what i need to do and tell you purchase it at twin d flame d dot square dot site or purchase the ebook at womanual dot club that's my blog. It's there. You've got to look for it. You know? Just because when you go on the front page, if you don't see it, you're going to say it's not there. There's a menu, guys. Make sure that you ask your question. And I'm going to keep putting this video out until every single twin flame or everyone is always questioning who your divine masculine is sees this video and like I said don't go searching or you'll be sorry just ask your question let it go let it be and your answer will come to you take yourselves everyone to purchase your bracelets your keychains your bath bombs your incense go to twin D holistic boutique that square, that site, and if you'd like a reading or to purchase the book, go to twin D, flame D, that square, that site. Let go and let God, everyone, and I'll see you at your next message. Later. Love you all.